Hello? Does everybody hear me okay? Just checking the mic here. That cut off a wee bit too quick for me. So who have we in? We have John. Thank you, John. And Blues Girl, good to see you. Always supportive, along with Teresa. Oh, there's Aunt uh, Dorothy again. Oh, hold on, I've got the echo. One moment. It's well seen I'm not a dab hand at this. Ah, that's me now. And out of the shadows with Ginger, Helen, Giggler, Dave. Thank you all for coming in and listening to little old me. Um, I'm going to do be try to be a wee bit more relaxed um, this week. My first live with my crime was a bit nerve wracking. Hi, crime scene cleaner. Um, there's a lot to go over here, but it is actually a really interesting case. Hi Jude, I've got some photographs, or images rather, that I'm going to play and just kind of chat as I go along through it. And hopefully I have someone coming up for a wee chat later. Because this crime happened in Northern Ireland, there's always somebody that knows somebody that knew Colin Howell, who was the actual murderer. Um, I know Giggler is very interested in this case, as is Gina. We're all local and know the area. Um, and you'll be all glad to know that there'll be no mention of Natasha tonight. Yep. I know it's been a bit rough around the old streets of YouTube the last couple of days. Um, hi, Valerie. Good to see you. And Jane, thank you for coming in. But... I'm grateful for you all been here and supporting me. Um, it is uh, great that we can get some of these Irish crimes out. Also, the missing children and people of Ireland, Northern Ireland. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. So bear with me one wee minute and we can get into this. And this week, we have got the murders of Leslie Clark and Trevor Buchanan. It happened in Coleraine, County Antrim, Northern Ireland. There was murder, adultery, religion, dirty dentists, the whole lot. And it happened in my backyard. Hi, Ange. It is a bit of a doozy of a case. So I'm just going to share the screen. Now, there's even been a book and an ITV drama called The Secret, starring our own James Nesbitt, about the crimes committed by Colin Howell and his former mistress, Hazel Stewart. And since I started to say that I was going to do this case, I found out that uh, a member of our community, who we all know very well, once had a relationship with the actor, Mr Nesbitt, mm, and has photographs to show as well. Hi, Barky. But again, I'm just going to try to share this screen. Hopefully I don't share anything that I shouldn't. Knowing me. Oh, here we go. On screen, 
we have Colin Hyle, Hazel Stewart, Trevor Buchanan, and Leslie Clark. Oh, better stop that. That's the lovely Mr. Nesbitt. That hopefully I can get chatting to someone about him later on. We had a bit of a romance with them. Now, just to tell you a wee bit of a backstory. Um, I didn't name these two in my title as it's victims' names that should be remembered and certainly not as a byline. Trevor Buchanan and Leslie Howe's only crime was to love and trust their partners. They were betrayed and murdered by the very people who promised to love them forever. Hey, Claren. Thank you for coming in. And you're from Arizona? Well, you're travelled all the way over to Northern Ireland. And there's Valerie from Ballymena. So, Valerie, you'll know about this case as well, as along with Giggler. Giggler and Gina followed all this avidly, just like myself. And we followed the court proceedings on our local news every night. Shock and sadness were just some of the feelings we felt about these murders and how they were committed in our wee country. I do have many questions about Hazel Stewart and I'm interested to see what you think. What we think about her as a person, her actions prior to the murders and after. Was she really a vulnerable person that Hyle controlled? You know, it's only now in the last what, year, two years, we've learned about coercive control which has been introduced into our law in the UK. And I'm wondering, is that a wee part of it? I don't know. Or, as a lot of people think, she's a cold fish. Do I see Sagacious Angel? I thought I'd seen Sagacious. So, Colin Howell. Hey, Laurie. Colin Howell was born in Belfast. I'll just hit play here and stop at the parts that we need stopped. Hope you can see it okay. In 19, right, Colin Howell was born in Belfast in 1959 and had four siblings. He later moved to Portadown in the mid-70s with his family. He did reasonably well at school, but he missed the grades to go into medicine. He settled on dentistry and attended Queen's University in Belfast. He did keep mainly to himself and didn't date or have much of a social life. Hi, Julie and Angela. Yep, Angela, we're going to get into that as well. He was apparently very religious, but also was very for, fond of porn magazines. He met Leslie Clark in 1980. He was a student nurse, and she actually thrived at her studies and was very popular. She belonged to a military family and was the youngest of two. And this is the lovely Leslie here. Beautiful. Beautiful woman. She was the total opposite of Hyle, and she was very popular and outgoing. They were later married in Belfast on July the 16th, 1983, after a slow start to their relationship. They were both very religious and had strong Christian beliefs in the Baptist church. 
but things were not as they seemed for the young couple. In the run-up to their marriage, Leslie travelled to London with Howell on three different occasions to have abortions at his insistence. She also had to pay the bill every time. Um, in Northern Ireland, it's only been in the recent years that abortion has become legal. Prior to that, you did have to go, if anyone wanted to have an abortion, had to travel to the UK. After they bought, after they were married, they bought a house in Coleraine. When their first child was born in 1984, Leslie decided to stop nursing and become a full-time mum. Howell took a job in a local dentist office. Howell was actually my friend's dentist. Hi, Violet. Um, as he was the only one that sedated patients who had anxiety and dental phobias. And that's actually why she went to him. It was um, a dental practice in Balamone, County Antrim. Um, and he knocked you out for laughing gas and you got your dental surgery. But we, well, later on we, were, we came to find that, uh, oh, well, I'll we'll go into that later on. This is the lovely Queen's University that should be on your screen. That's actually where they first met. Him studying to be a dentist and her studying to be a nurse. They were very active members of their local Baptist church. They had another three children. Howell decided to open his own dental practice in Balmonic County Antrim. It was very successful, but also needed large sums of money to be invested in the running of it. They also had bought a new luxury home and were way, way over their heads in debt. Around this time, Howell had his first affair with an old college friend. Leslie found out and was devastated. Things became very bad in the Howell home, but worse was to come. And here is the Korean Baptist Church, should be on the screen now. They were very active members. Howell met Hazel Stewart at the beginning of 1990. They belonged to the same Baptist church. And she also worked at the nursery where Howell's daughter attended. Hi, Smeda. Of course, you're welcome. And hello, Gina. Howell met, he right, Howell met Hazley. Right, I said that bit. Hazel was married to Trevor, who was a constable in the RUC, which is now is known as the PSNI, the Police Service of Northern Ireland. They had two small children. Trevor was known to be hardworking and adored his wife. She was descri described as being materialistic, but unassuming, but she also demanded her husband's attention. Howell and Stuart met at swimming lessons and began to meet in their cars in the car park outside. This progressed to meeting at Howell's dental practice and also in the Buchanan home when Trevor was working nights. Leslie became suspicious and spoke to their pastor who then approached Howell and Stuart, who both denied anything was going on. But they did finally admit they had feelings, but had no, but no sex was involved. Mm, right oh. Colin Howell should uh, come on screen now. Howell and Stuart both had to step back from their duties at Corian Baptist Church. It was arranged that both families would attend different sermons at the church. Howell later admitted to the pastor he had indeed 
been sleeping with Stuart and she even had an abortion in the summer of 1990. Trevor and Leslie were both devastated, as you can imagine, after the pastor arranged for them to confess to the affair. Hello, Kim. But in March of 1991, they resumed their affair. By now, Howell had completely disengaged himself with Leslie, found her tiresome and wanted to rid himself of his marriage and Leslie. Hi, Gawain. Leslie spoke to friends about her marriage and was actually becoming fearful of Howell. As on one occasion, when she was in the bath, he dropped the lead of a cassette player into the bath and she got a mild shock. And also I'm sure her gut instinct was telling her, oh, to run. Hi, catnip. After her father's death, in May of 1991, Leslie inherited over 200,000. This is Leslie here. She only told a very few close friends of this and was thinking of leaving Howell. And I think we all know that is the most dangerous part where domestic violence, murder, everything comes into play. Is when that decision is made to actually leave the marriage. On the 18th of May 1991 was her youngest child's birthday. Leslie had a busy day and that evening settled down for the evening with a wee glass of wine, put her headphones on, listened to some classical music. The next morning that was the last sight, apparently, that was seen of Leslie. The next morning, just hit play, Howard reported to his pastor that Leslie was missing, as was the family car. He claimed that Trevor had come over to the house, and after a brief struggle, Leslie and Trevor left the house. Howell has asked his pastor to go check at his late father's-in-law's house, and he did, with an off-duty policeman. They entered the garage and saw Trevor Buchanan sitting in the driver's seat of the Howell's family car. Leslie Howell was found in the boot. She was clutching photographs of her children, and her headphones were still on her head. A hose was attached to the exhaust pipe. They were both clearly dead. When Hazel Stewart was notified of Trevor's death, she stated he had been gone from the early hours and claimed to hear voices which she thought was Leslie in her home. She fell back asleep. It was believed to have been a suicide pact and they had taken their own lives. There was no investigation. Oh, sorry, that's right, Dorothy. The boot is the trunk. For, for, the, for our American friends. Colin and Hazel resumed their affair six weeks after their death. But she refused to have sex with him as she was so filled with anxiety. Howell suggested that they should use the sedatives that he used at his dental practice to calm her down and they resumed their sexual relationship. They continued their relationship for four years until Hazel met another man. That relationship, I think, lasted for about eight years and that broke up. She then met and went on to marry a David Stewart in 2005, an ex-superintendent in the RUC. And yes, Helen, that's what I was saying. When the abuser loses control of his household, danger. And Valerie, it was awful. Do you remember the drama now, Helen? 
Well, we've actually got someone in our community mm -hmm, that uh, had a relationship with the, the lead actor, Mr. James Nesbitt. Mm -hmm. And hopefully she'll pop up later for a wee chat. Hello, Adam Apple. Hope you're doing well. Howell also went on to marry after the breakup with Hazel in 1997 and have five more children. It was actually um, a woman from Florida had come over to attend university, Irish studies. She had two children. But once she met and uh, married Howell, she gave up on her studies. And they went on to have five more children. So that was a very, very busy house. He focused on his dental business and also purchased a luxury home. In the early 2000s, he heard about a scheme to find lost gold in the Philippines. And the greed got the better of him. He poured 353000 pounds into this which is probably like a half a million dollars this is Leslie and Howell's son Matthew on screen he actually fell to his death from a balcony in Russia this was the start of the end for Howell he saw the accident in a biblical context. And this he later claims, which made him confess. He believed his sins had been visited on his son and in his mind, Matthew's death was God's way of punishing him. Between that and I would say the loss of the money. Hey, Hey, Blues. After admitting to his wife he had lost all their money and that he also had an affair, she contacted their church and arranged for the church elders to visit their home. When the elders arrived, Howell appeared distressed and emotional. He admitted to having had an affair, the money, the past abortions, and also of sexually assaulting some of his dental patients who had been sedated for surgery. This is Howell and Hazel Stewart in recent years, well, not that recent years, but obviously at that time. His wife was quoting the Bible throughout his confessions and he then finally told what really happened 18 years ago. He admitted to killing Trevor and Leslie. The police were called and he was arrested. He gave three full days of interviews. And here on the screen is the boot trunk where Leslie's body was. And you can see the photographs that he had placed around her. And also you can see her walking. It's just unbelievable. It really is. Um, he admitted to taking a hose and adding a baby bottle, his own child's baby bottle, to the end and putting it close to a sleeping Leslie. He then went out, switched the car on, which had the other part of the hose attached to its exhaust. He waited outside the room, but was shook when, she, when he heard her cry out. She actually cried out for Matthew. And that was the son who later fell to his death in Russia. He then went into the room 
and held her down until she was dead. Hi, boss lady. AJ, welcome. He put the body, he put Leslie's body rather, in the bit of their car, along with her walkman, photos of their children, and he placed a bicycle on top. He then drove to Trevor Buchanan's home. Hazel opened the garage door for him and he reversed in. He claimed Hazel had given Trevor a sandwich with crushed up sedatives that he had given to her previously. She denies that she gave the sedatives to her husband Trevor. But Trevor had to have something to be completely zonked out. He then used the hose in the same way he had killed Leslie. But only this time Trevor awoke and a struggle took place. Howell forced the hose into Trevor's mouth, wrapped a duvet around him and held it, held him close and he soon passed away. Howell placed Trevor's body into the car and drove to his late father's home in Castle Rock and it was actually named the Apostles. It's a, a landmark in Northern Ireland. There's 12 beautiful cottages. Where he staged it to look like a double suicide. He cycled back home to his house where his sleeping children lay. Oh, Angela, what's wrong? Oh, Angela, I'm so sorry. Mm. I think it's only when you look into these cases and realise, you know, even like the dental patients, everything. As I said, my friend went to him. Never in her wildest dreams did she think that he would be sexually assaulting anyone in the middle of a dentist office. Who, who would have thought that? <coughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Angela. Hazel cleared. This is Hazel Stewart that's on screen now. She cleared up any evidence in her home. Harold phoned Hazel and went over their story. They then went on with their lives for nearly 20 years. He also confessed that he had told his wife two years into the marriage. She did leave him and return to Florida with the children to get as far away as she could from Harold. She was later charged, but they were dropped and she didn't actually have to face any charges. Howell pleaded guilty in April 2010 and was sentenced to 21 years. And I know the Americans that's listening will be shocked at our justice system. Sometimes I agree, sometimes I don't. 21 years is actually quite a lot. And I think the public were pleased that he got that. He probably would have got more if he hadn't confessed. He was later diagnosed as being a narcissist. That's narcissist again. That's all you hear around the tubes. Fantas fantasist with grandiose ideas. Hazel was arrested and bailed until her trial for being an accomplice to the murder. Her trial began in February 2011 in Colerain Crown Court. She pled not guilty. She claimed to be frightened and was easy prey for Howell. 
and had no control and felt forced to do what she did that night. Howard went on the stand and described their relationship like a waltz, where he took the lead and Hazel followed and he never had to drag her across the dance floor. So we have to think about that. She was sentenced to 18 years, which she will have to serve fully. Her husband, who remember, was an ex-police superintendent and children fully support her. Trevor Buchanan's family were absolutely devastated, as you can imagine, when this all came out, as was Leslie's. Howell pleaded guilty. He later pled guilty to 12 of the sexual assaults against his patients. There was actually some held back, which they're going to try to use for, if they need to, for later. And I think they will, actually. He was given five and a half years for these assaults and lost his dental pension from the NHS, eh, then the National Health Service, I should say. Only one of his children remain in contact with him. If you look on the screen, and this here is, I think it's just so sad. The headstone at the front is Trevor's Buchanan. And just right behind it, and you can see it in the picture, is Leslie's. They're that close. Trevor and Leslie are that close together. No, Dorothy, he got 21 years total. But he has to do the 21 years. He will not get out. You have to remember, we go by the UK justice. Life does not mean life. If you're given life here, you could be out in 16 years, depending on the crime. That's okay, AJ. Hazel got 18 years. I don't think anybody... Yeah, they are, Adam, aren't they? They are pretty long for, for us. I think Dorothy he got 21 total. She got 18, which she has fought and fought and fought against. But they're not backing down. She has to do her time. And I'm glad about that. And you're right, Angela, not even half a year for each patient. You do get more for fraud. And it's not fair. He murdered along with, he with Hazel Stewart, his wife, her husband, Trevor, rather I should say, and the sexual assaults over the years. And God only knows what else he did. Probably will not ever really know. But I thought where the remains are, just been so close to each other. It's just very, very sad. Yeah, John, the Republic is actually much the same as us. Yep. I mean, I done that wee short clip last night of <coughs> Philip Cairns. This is actually a good image here, just pop up. And like a long term paedophile, 10 years. I think Angela he probably feels he has answered. He believes that when his son was killed, that God was putting the sins of the father onto his son. 
regardless whether we believe that or not, but that's what he feels. Um, but it took him 20 years and the death of his son. And it was the same son that cried out for his mummy that night when his daddy was murdering her. I think Leslie would have been on and had a great successful life as a nurse, made it on her own with her children. Um, her dad, she lost her dad suddenly. There is a wee bit of suspicion about that with Colin Howard as well. But again, that's only suspicion. And yeah, Valerie does. He believes he has repented. Yep. Well, yeah, Angela, he is in for a shock. No, Adam, I don't think they can. I have to say, there's only maybe about six, seven full lifers in the UK. And that's when their crimes, they can't ever be released again. Oh yeah, the US definitely has the harshest prison terms. These pair, I think 21 years does seem, it is, it's, it is a short term. He can still leave, leave prison, say, in 10 years. And if he's healthy, go on and need some kind of life. He is a steward will pretty do much, she'll do the same. But what about Trevor? What about Leslie? Um, but I do have to say, but I know it's a different discussion, that I do think America is way, way too harsh. What we are at 18 it's not what we are at 40. I'm certainly not the same person. I don't think any of us are. And I do think, I do believe, I, you know, and been real about, you know, getting there, getting help. I know Canada, they have much the same prison terms as what we do. But then in other cases, I, I do think America's got it right. When I look at some of the cases, you think, oh my God, they never deserve to be let out again. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen so I can go back in. Catnip, yep, I think a lot of us can say that. Let's all think back to when we were 18. We're definitely not the same. Well, I'm not. Hopefully, I'll just stop the screen and get back in. That should be me now. So what do you think of Hazel? Do you think she's as guilty as Howell? You were married at 18. I'm going to share my link for StreamYard. Hopefully I can get it here. One moment. Hopefully it'll pop up. She did say she would come up for a wee chat. I would love to have a chat with her. Barky, you were 19. I was also very young, yep. Thank you, John. So am I, Valerie. So what do you think? Hi, Laurie M. Good to see you. Do you think 
that he's a steward is as much to blame for those murders as Colin Howe? Or do you think him being the sort of man that he was, bullied her, coerced her, into giving, in, into doing this? Congratulations, Valerie. 45 years. Oh, wow, that's a long time. Barky, you're still young. Goodness, we're only in our prime now. I have to say, me being 50, I feel more confident in myself than I did when I was 18, or even 30, or even 40. So, Dorothy, you think she is just as responsible? Do you think, though, maybe she was pushed along, she went along with it? I've no sympathy for her, actually, at all. I believe she is just as culpable as he is. She let him come into their home that night and do that, murder her husband. Her children don't believe that. Her children believe that she was coerced into this and it wasn't her fault. Her current husband believes that as well. And you have to remember this is a man that had many years as a chief superintendent. People that have interviewed her, said that she's very cold and it's all about her. It's not fair on her why she is in prison. I mean, our prison, the woman's prison in Northern Ireland, <coughs> pardon me, it's actually well, no, I haven't ever been there, thankfully. I hope never to be there. But to me, it's it's certainly not like what I see, like the big prisons in the UK and America. It's only a small prison. He is a Stuart, Adam. Isn't there, oh yeah, Stuart, he, yeah. Stuart he, Hazel killed that wee girl. Tia Sharp, that's it, Angela. Yep, that's it. That was another one. Now, the police are there, you see, at the time. There was an inquiry, and they were found to be, oh, I mean, they just wrote it off as a suicide pact. Even though they knew about the affair, they knew about everything else, they just went along with it, because he was a good Christian man. I know Geckler. Oh, look, I can highlight these comments. I forgot about that. If you think about it, how could anyone assist the killing of anyone? I certainly couldn't hurt anyone. I'd run them out. So would I. I would... Probably if I was put in that situation, I'd be that frightened, I would say, yeah, well, let me think about it. Yeah, yeah. But when I got out of there, I would have went straight to the police. Hey, drama. I mean, for her to be in that house that night. Oh. Yeah, Angela, yeah. Can you not, Adam? You sound like one of my sons. They just freeze. They just can't. They can't do it either. Yeah, 
Helen, yeah. I do believe there's a bit of coercion. Absolutely, yeah, there was. She's certainly not blameless. Um, and you're right, the Munch, yeah, Charles Manson. And isn't Charles Manson's, his, the girls that murdered for him, they're still in jail, aren't they, or prison? Yeah. They can't accept that their father or, or their mother done this to their father. Oh, I know, I know, I know, Adam. Yeah, I get that. I, I do get that. Oh, some of them are out, Dorothy, the Munch, oh, Manson girls. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, Helen. She put passion before compassion. She certainly reminded me of being a furry cold fish. And I think even the judge remarked on that. Oh, wow. I think we know that. All family members have a hard time believing their loved one did anything wrong. Oh, Valerie, when's he out? Do you out? I think it's not for another 10 years. Hold on to a check. Um, well, 2010, so he's got to do 21 years. Yeah, he's got about another 10 years. Oh, Angela. So you're used, yeah. Barky, yeah, being in a big gypsy family, I've grown up with so too much death, yeah. But actually, um, the travellers here, they celebrate. They really celebrate. And they go full out. Horses, carriage, the whole work, Sparky. And I have to say, it's it's beautiful. But I think, I mean, it was a very, I found it, even now it's still been talked about. Howell and Stuart. Um, if... And when, well, they will get out. But her best days are, are behind her, really, aren't they? And she's... She's, you know, she's missed a lot, but her husband has missed so much more. Dorothy, do you want to pop up for a chat? I was expecting someone else to pop up, but I know that she's been busy. But I'm going to get her to talk about that actor. Yep, we have wakes as well. Yeah, Valerie. I think she did like the lifestyle. There's nothing like an Irish wake, or so they say. But I'm going to be honest. They talk about these Irish wakes. I've never really been to any that's been... What they're portrayed in TV. Gina, Gina, did you get my link? I can drop it here. You see if I can get this. What's that crane scene? Oh, here we go. Gina, just click that there. It should come up. 
I feel like if the US jails were more like overseas, like China or Korea, we would have less crime. Oh, what's China and Korea like? Oh, God, no, I don't think there should be like concentration camps. I mean, but there, there are some of them's pretty brutal, you know. You only have to look at, uh, oh, they're brutal in China and Korea. Oh, oh, I don't know. I think they're pretty brutal in the US from what I see. Ours used to be pretty brutal in Northern Ireland. Really brutal. But they had to clean up their act you know, human rights and things. But then again, that was to do with the, the troubles. Adam, you're from Glasgow. Gina, did you get that link? I dropped it in chat. Well, they might, do, I think they are a bit like holiday camps, but I still wouldn't want to go for a holiday. I couldn't, you know, you're right, Barky, I couldn't imagine prison. I wouldn't last a night. Well, maybe one night, but I would want to get home the next day. I would be terrified. I don't think I could hack it. But then again, there has to be different levels of prison. You're not all just sent into the one prison, I don't think. Are murderers and people that do fraud, are they all in the one prison? Yeah, Dorothy, I, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got a guest. Mm -hmm. And we're going to hear a bit of uh, juicy gossip. Hello, hello, Gina. Hang on, I'm going to have to um, turn my um, YouTube off. Hang on a wee second. I'm on a different device. This is beautiful Gina Rubina. And Gina is also from Northern Ireland, like me. But she's a city girl. And I'm a country girl. So we've got a bit of city meets country here. Isn't that can right? Hear me now? I can hear you fine. Good. <laughs> <laughs> How that was are you, brilliant. Gina? Did you enjoy that? I did. I was um put my mummy to bed, God love her. Aww. So um, I was listening while I was doing it. I had the phone <laughs> in my pocket. <laughs> I'm trying to get a wee bit more relaxed, Gina. And just chatting as if I'm just chatting to a few in my living room. But it's just an amazing story, isn't it? You isn't know, it? there's oh, so it much it's, it's, uh, there's so much to it and um you know, to, to go that long, 20 years, and just for his son to I know. Um, oh die, God. for him to come clean. I know. You know? Uh, it's, um, well, what do you think experience. of uh, Hazel Stewart? What do you think of her? I think she's a bitch. Mm, well, yeah, a goldfish, yeah. yeah. A cat, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I had spoken to you before and said about her be, even being in pres prison um, in the later years. And only last year, sorry, before I went that, last mm -hmm. year she accused him of raping her. And this That's is the reason right. why um, that she stayed with him that length of time, because he manipulated her and raped her. And that's the reason why she didn't come forward. So oh. she's now accusing him of rape, but um, there, there was no charges brought. Oh. They decided not to go forward, was it? She will do anything to get out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, I looked, when I was looking this up, there was um, Belfast Telegraph had actually went to Hyde Bank to interview her. Yeah. And they found her very cold. Yeah. Even in later years, not once did she mention Trevor. You see? 
It was all uh, about her. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they were trying to be fair to her. Um, like, what was her experience? You know, how was she feeling? No, it, 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 nothing was ever mentioned. I mean, he was a young man. Leslie mm-hmm. was a young woman. Yeah. She let that evil get into her home and murder Trevor lying sleeping in his bed. I am. Um, she, she, she definitely, she definitely concocted it with him. Um, I know that um, he said. I think more or less to his guilt. He was more or less saying at the start it was all his idea, but I think the both of them co- concocted it together. Mm-hmm. He was trying to protect her somewhat because he was in love with her. But then um, I think well, she, she left him for a policeman or something, or they broke up and um, she started. She married a police officer, didn't she? She, she married. Chief Superintendent. That's right. Uh-huh. And yeah. she went to all the do's. That was one of the pictures I put up of her. Yeah. She had the black gown, you know, the whole works. Yeah. Um, she loved the spotlight. Yeah. And how she showed her face out in Coleraine again. After even even with people thinking it was a suicide pact. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have showed my face out again knowing that I was kind of responsible for them. Yeah. Well, she was, you know, I mean, she downplayed her oh, whole yeah. role in it, you know, yeah. so, and she oh, was no, a good looking yeah. girl back in the day, you know, she was, yeah. she was and so was he, he was, he, he was extremely handsome. Yeah. And um, funny enough, my, my ex-boss actually went to college with him. Right, yeah. As well, years ago, I think I uh-huh. told you that, uh-huh. and um, I, I heard you saying there as well that, um, if anybody ever wants to watch the um, the program on, it's called The Secret. Mm-hmm. I think you can get it on Netflix. You can, and it's very, uh-huh. very good. It's amazing. Um, uh-huh. And uh-huh, it is, Gina. And yeah. it's got a very uh, famous actor. Oh, yes, James Nesbitt, and I have quite a few photographs with him. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, Gina, come on, girl. Tell us the biz. <laughs> when, where, well, and how? <laughs> well, um, we, um, I, I, it was a, a past job of mine, and um, he he promoted it. We've done a lot, lot of advertisements uh-huh. um, with him on at BT. I'm sure, um, I'm sure everybody knows what BT is. Yep. And he came up to our work one day to, to give us awards, and uh, we got a lot of photographs taken with him. And then we all went out together that night. Uh-huh. And um, he bought us quite a lot of drinks. But not only that, there, he took me out the next night as well. Gina! <laughs> oh, how long ago hey, was Nothing this? happened. <laughs> nothing uh, happened, I have uh-huh. to say. But he did try it. He did, he did try he it did. all. But, uh-huh, but um, I was going with a fella and, um, at the time. And um, I had no interest. But it was I was more caught up in going out and being seen with him, you know. Oh, my God. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, was... we, went, we went to the Crown Bar. First oh, night, the crown. Uh, oh, right, yeah, mm-hmm. oh, went yeah, to the been crown. There many a time. yeah, many and then the second time, night Gina. was, um, well, we're um, he was staying in the Rupa Hotel, so that's yeah. where we had a drink the, the second night. But he, he asked me out specifically the first night, we're all with the crowd on our own, or sorry, sorry, out with the crowd together, and then the second night, me and him was on our own. Oh, yes, uh huh, but he did oh. try his hardest, like to get me back up to the room, <laughs> and I, I was having none of it. <laughs> And what was he like? Is he a nice man? He's lovely. I swear, oh. he's seen the laughter. It. It was doing a um, play at the time. Um, that's why he was over, and the um the opera house. Uh-huh. And he had the, He was acting as a. He was acting a, a woman. You know, like a, a um. He was playing a, a female part, but he had to shave his legs for it, and he kept on scratching his legs all night. <laughs> I was going, what are you doing? He was going, as these bloody hairs growing back? You know, oh, my <laughs> oh, Gina. And you were seen out at the Crown Bar? Huh? Oh, yeah. I, 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 we, we were all seen at the Crown Bar, and I've actually uh-huh. photographed. I should have sent you them before uh, you come on. And I, I think I was only about 26, 27 at the time. Oh, good, that, well. I yeah, but I'll send you them three ago, email anyway, you know, just for your own, and you can you can see yourself. Oh, do you hear? You can, do you hear? Huh? Dorothy. Oh, no, I can't. Right. Dorothy has sometimes a problem understanding my accent, Gina. And I talk really fast. And you're a wee Belfast girl. Yeah. You talk uh-huh. a wee bit faster than me. <laughs> 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 I love your accent. I'm country, you see. 
Um, how are you keeping? You're the country girl, so you are. I am. I'm a bursi, <laughs> a bursi or a culture. Yeah, the culture. A culture. So, how are you doing? I'm I know you were I just getting on uh, with it. Just getting on with it. Uh, Aye. Just, it's sort of that's my turn to be up in my mom, so we're, we're just sort of taking turns, you know. I know. I know. So getting the heart of heart, getting heart of bed is a big relief for me. Of course it is. Oh, it really, really is. Um, it's just you want to get her up in bed and comfortable and you then just sit down and have a break because you're sort of running after all day. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just over COVID myself. I know that. You weren't well. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm going to milk it for a wee bit and get another bit off work. And Of course. Because you can yeah. actually have long-term COVID as well. Yeah. My head's so banging and funny enough. My head, I just can't get rid of the headache. And it's it's uh, really, really sore. That's the second time I've had COVID. Oh, my God. But, uh, but this time is, is worse than the, the last time I had it. My chest, it was my, I had my chest bad this time. I could hardly talk. And I was still sort of uh, feeling it in my chest. Yeah. I oh, know yeah. that I've now, I done a test, actually, yesterday. Because I was going around to get my wee grandson and I didn't feel that great in the morning when I got up ah. and I thought shite am I there's something wrong with me and I'd done a wee test but it was negative but I don't really trust them tests you know no their tests are rubbish I have hundreds of them in the house and um funny you, you said that there when I uh, tested myself I'd come up negative and then when I called the doctor he got me to go up and get the other test what it was it called P, P something yeah uh, and that's when I tested positive. My daughter brought me up in the car, but she already had it herself. So, you know, so, so the that's right. had yeah. it. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, I hope you I can still feel up my chest, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I think it takes a long time, though. It takes a long time to get over it, though, Gina. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. But I got over fine the last time. It was like, you know, I was almost as like, I was going by the book, you know, the, the 10 days and yeah. it was like 10 days and I was back to normal fame at this time. I don't know. I'm just finding it a bit harder and I'm, I'm a lot tired, tireder and I'm sleeping a lot more. Aye. Mm-hmm. Well, if I was you, girl, I'd be taking it as long as I could out of it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, because okay. you don't get a medal for running back. Yeah. And, and I get full pet work. I get full pet work when I'm off oh, as well. Well then, uh-huh, there you so, go. Yeah. And you're not well. Plus, uh-huh. The stress of just everyday life, and then with your mummy. Yeah, you know, is your mummy got dementia? Or the well, she's, she's got the, um, not the proper dementia. She's got vascular dementia, vascular dementia brought on by the strokes and the bleeds in the head. Ah, right, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So um, it's uh, it's she gets a bit nasty. God love her, but it's not her. No, you I know, know. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing or saying. You know, she can sometimes. I can't. It's hard. It is hard. Uh-huh. I, I, I feel as if sometimes I can't do right for doing wrong, you know, know or wrong for doing that. right. It's, um, you know, nothing's, but I, I just have to accept that that's. I know. And it's hard. It is yeah. hard. <laughs> I see that this morning, I'll tell you a funny story. Funny enough, this morning I was up and we're sat, I was sitting watching TV with her and uh, she says, May I have to tell you something, Gina? And I says, What, Mum? And she says, Do you know when I was coming home in a boat from Leeds? when you were 13 months and I said yes and she says do you know some man tried to grab you out of my uh, out of my arms and throw you over course oh my god oh my god oh my god and oh, you was, but, you ha- but I had to play along with it I know <laughs> oh my god I have um on a Friday I go out to the farm my wee mother-in-law is 90 uh-huh. and she needs 24-hour care now, she's only at the start of her dementia. Um, oh, her. But she goes to the toilet, Gina. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. She gets up, goes to the toilet. She's away for 15 minutes. She comes back. I would love a cup of tea. I never had a cup of tea the day. Uh-huh. Not one person has made me a oh, cup of tea. Oh, that's my mum. Not one person's been up to see me or made me uh-huh. a cup of tea. Exactly the same. And then... You make the cup of tea and you have to do it the long one, don't we? There's no tea bag in a cup for her. Mm-hmm. It's the tea leaves. Yeah. You know, tea, oh, the whole works <laughs> the, on the stove. The old, the old, way, the old way with the wee strainer. So, oh, yeah. And then she sits down. You put her the, put the tea down. And the next minute, she's way to the toilet again. She doesn't even drink the fucking tea. Uh-huh. 
So you said forgotten sh- sh- goes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, we've, we plant? we've had tests done for urine and everything, thinking the reason she's run into the toilet is because maybe she's got an infection. No. It's obviously just start, it's the dementia. Yeah. And it's just something that she's doing, running back and forth to the toilet. I guess she say she's forgotten she's went and she yeah. automatic our brain's thinking she needs to go again and uh, yeah. you know, but my granny had it as well and um Yeah, so my I, uh-huh, my I remember my, my granny coming up there. We live in the same street and uh, my granny came up to my mom's house and she said, Anne, Anne, she says, You make it down here now. She says, There's somebody following me about my house and everything I do, they're copying me. So my mum goes down and she's looking all about the house. Like, there's nobody here, Dolly. Because my, my granny was to, told Dor- Dorothy. My granny was called Dorothy, but she got called Dolly. Oh, going, Dolly, Dolly, there's not, there's, there's, <laughs> there's no one here. She says there is, there she is, and she was pointing at a mirror. She didn't recognise herself. <laughs> oh. She thought oh. she was being followed about the house. <laughs> oh God, love her. God, love her. We had to take all the mirrors down out of her out of her house, you know. Oh, the mirror. You had to take the mirrors all down. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Gina. Uh huh. Oh, do you know something? But it, it I can laugh about it now, you know. But yeah, I you know can laugh. Funny to tell, but there's some stories, you know, you you, 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 you can tell about what people have to mention, you know, when they're maybe gone, yeah. you know, you, and you can sit and laugh about it as well. But I think there is so many types of dementia, uh-huh. like with Annie. It's obviously a different one that my granny had. My granny had the vascular, like your mummy. Uh, yeah. she, she, she she actually got violent at the end. Yeah, my mummy and, started to get really nasty. My mummy started to get really nasty. Nasty. Uh-huh. And, yeah. you know, my wee mother in law, Annie, she is just a wee dote, but she can be sharp at times. Mm-hmm. Like I went into the room last week. She was down in the bedroom. Uh-huh. She was trying to, she did actually, she folded up. The alarm mat that's at the side of her bed. Because uh-huh. she's cute enough to know that that buzzes and gives off an alarm. Uh-huh. So she had it all folded up and pushed under the bed. So when I came in, she looked up at me and she said, What are you doing down here, sneaking around, following me about? And I was like, Oh, oh. I said, Right, okay, I'm away. I thought, I'm not arguing with you. But Thankfully, um, now she did give another daughter-in-law a good tongue in the mm-hmm. other week, but overall, she hasn't, she has you know, she's not nasty, and I don't even like saying that word, my granny wasn't a nasty, you know, yes Adam, the vascular does make them aggressive. There's so many different types of dementia. Yeah, I, I've only started recently, recently fighting that out. I just thought it was just a, a, a different form of dementia because yeah. the same. But when I looked it up, I was going, there's seven stages of it. Right. And um, it just progressively gets worse oh. and worse. You know, obviously there's no cure for it. Um, the way um, you can slow the normal dementia down but because of the bleeds in the brain. They, they, they can't do that the same way they do with normal dementia. You just start oh. to go into stages, and I reckon my mum's in stage three, four now. She's stage, what age is your mum, Jane? Have you don't remember? 73. Oh my God, she's young. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, she is, she's young. My mum is yeah. 73. 73. Uh-huh. Oh, God, that's young. Yeah, yeah. that's young. But um, um, see, health wise, I mean, after the strokes and all, I mean, I notice <laughs> that she has got a lot better, but um, it's just her mood. I mean, it's, it's it, it, no matter, like I said, no matter what we do to try to help, it's um, we're always in the wrong or she, she's shouting at us, you know, because it's not done her way. But I always yeah. have to keep in the back of my mind, this isn't my mummy, this is somebody different. Because my mummy no. never, my mummy never swore in her life, never, <gasps> never, never said a bad word in her life. I mean, oh my just God. didn't do it. And she started now to say bad words and really, really bad words, oh, the Gina. C word and everything. No way. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, my God. How does it see your brain? It's shocking. And for me to hear that from her, it really shocks me because and and, and all my t- all my years, I never heard my mummy swear. I know. Mm-hmm. But it's not. It's not your mummy. No, it's not. It's your mummy's in there. Your mummy's mm-hmm. in there. And it, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. And there's Ange. I know Ange. She cares for her aunt. And she's only 68. 
Huh? She's got yeah. dementia. See, I think you think you can get it sort of. You can even get it as as, as young as from fifty. No, uh huh. Um, they're starting to get younger and younger cases of it, but they're catching yeah. it quicker, and you're able to get medication now that can slow it way down. Slow it way down. Uh -huh, but it's catching it in thing. time. But it's catching it in time. Yeah, but exactly. Or people, because people don't recognise the first times of it. You know, no. the forgetfulness, because we all get a wee bit forgetful when we get the RH, age, don't we? Well, I, I mean, think I, you put, do. I put my sugar in the, the fridge last week. I know. But I think there's that much going on in my head. I know. <laughs> but I know, I mean, I have to say, my memory is fucked. It really is. Uh -huh. But I blame the menopause. Yeah. But, you know, that's what you do. But then again, maybe now in 10 years, I wouldn't be blaming the men menopause. I'd huh. be saying, mm. But Adam, that is such a really good point. Dementia takes laughter away completely. And it does. You know, yes, that's what I've noticed. My mommy doesn't laugh anymore. My, my, my mommy has such um, a sarcastic mm -hmm. way. It's, it's amazing. You know, she, but she's so funny, but that's gone. I mean, she doesn't yeah. do those. She doesn't, do, she, she doesn't have that sarcasm anymore, that wit. Yeah, but you had, yeah. you know, and that makes me sad because that's oh, that was a big sell. Everybody loves my mum. That was a big selling point for her, you know. Uh, she flirts. With, she used to flirt with me in the shops and all, you know, just yeah, to see her, you know. <laughs> she you know, was if, I, if I was thirty years male. younger, love and all, you uh -huh. know. Oh, <laughs> that's all gone now. Oh, mm -hmm. and they lost the smell. Well, we find that out the hard way, Ange. There was a range out in the kitchen and she was just to begging. She had 11 of a family, right? And obviously at the start before ever anybody really realised what was going on, she was cooking away, Gina, as if she was cooking for the ones coming in for their lunch, uh -huh. for the all 11 wains and all this. And there was a tea towel on the gas range. We're lucky she wasn't burnt and the whole house down with her. My God. And then, you know, she had a fall and she fell against the shower screen and it smashed into bits. Uh -huh. And that was it then. Now, one of her sons never got married and he lives at home anyway. But you can't leave it to him. He's a job. No. I suspect men aren't the same as well. No. I don't I, No offence to any men here. That do look after their parents, but men just don't have the same patience that w women have. That's just my opinion. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I totally I, agree. Mm. I mean, my husband, that's why I do it, because he couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have the patience. Mm -hmm. um, not that she is, she is a wee dot. She really is a wee dot. But also, I think, you know, now that starting with the toileting and things like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't think. I don't think Annie wants to see any of her sons like that, you know, see her like that. Uh -huh. And I do think it's down to the girls, sadly. That's, 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 that's the part I'm starting to dread, you know, when she starts to uh, lose control of her bladder and things like that, you know, that's a, that's a thing yeah. I, 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 uh, I'm not looking forward to at all. Yeah. You know. But, you but know. It's eventually going to happen. I know it is. And mm -hmm. is there enough of you girls to... Well, well, I've got um, I've well, I had five sisters. One of them died there in two thousand fourteen. But um, Gina. but um, two of my sisters live in England, and one one of my sisters live in Australia. So there's only me, me, and another sister really here, and um, she's oh, just right. literally, she's literally just had a wee baby what? as well. She only had a wee oh, baby a month ago. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's that's really only one. me. I mean, my eldest daughter. Because my oh, other two gosh. daughters, they live in England as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the care system is, oh, it's bad. Uh -huh. it's bad. Well, the cars that we, I did get our good support system and they were coming out on the um, mornings and the afternoons. And then she had a bad fall and she was brought back in the hospital and she was there for a week. And because she was out of the car 48 hours, they yeah. took the car off her and I got it back. But when they were coming out, she was telling the F off. And, and it's, and it's, it's got to be really awful to say. And again, this mm -hmm. is something my mummy never did. Um, she was especially telling them to F off when um, they were a person of colour. Yeah, okay. Or from yeah. another country. 
Right. This right. She, didn't, she didn't want them to touch her. And I, I know people find that offensive, but again, that's something um, that the, pen, the dementia patients do. Yeah. Because my mommy, my mommy was never racist or anything. No, of course she, not. She, you know, no. it's but no, it was get away from me. I don't want you to touch me. Touch me. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's so embarrassing, you know. When I was having to, to talk to him and say, "Listen, this isn't her," you know. But they, they're, they're trained and things like that. They, they understood. Mm. Thank God. Oh, I mean, it was like when my granny was in the hospital. Um, obviously, this is before she went. That was too far on. Because God only knows what would have happened if it if it had happened later on. Um, something had come up about Ian Paisley, Gina. Mm. And uh, well, we're from Northern Ireland, <laughs> you know. What I mean? <laughs> and uh, the wee nurse, she could see. It. She said, "Oh, that's that's a good friend of mine." You know, laughing. She was only like carrying on. Mm-hmm. And my granny, sir. Oh, he's such a lovely, lovely man. I I like I like Ian. Little hell did she like Ian. She did not, Gina. Right? But I laughed. I thought, oh my God, at least she had the wit. You know, even but if it had happened later, it could have been a different story. But you have to laugh, no, but you do. You yeah, that's laugh. that's one of the funny ones. And you, you said that I, I remember when my granny had it, like this is just before she, she she died and yeah. she was in hospital and we were up seeing her and there was a bed facing her and there was this lady with a red coat on and fit it and somebody else. And I says to my we, I called her nanny, like I says, Nanny, I says, Do you know who you are? Here she is to me. Do you think I'm effing stupid? And I says, <laughs> why? I, she says, um, do you think I'm effing stupid? Of course I know where I am. And then Butlins. <laughs> she, was, she thought I'd just seen the red coat, you know, the, oh, the girls sitting uh, with the girls sitting in front yes. of her, the red coat on. No, no the red coats oh, and Butlins. Go- yes. Oh, oh, she God. thought she was in Butlins. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my. But you have to laugh. You have to take the laughs, you know. When you get them, you definitely do. <laughs> but Butlin's like, oh my god! Well, you know something that wasn't a bad place. Well, at least it wasn't a bad place. She thought she was. Yeah, uh huh. But yeah. you have to take the. She said the good with the bad. But then you think. But when I think back to like my my granny, that was another. That's another thing. Dementia patients do. They accuse you of stealing money on them. Oh God, I. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And my granny was. Um, Five pound notes back then. She was folding them down, you know, like the old um, um <laughs> what do you call oh, it? No. Oh, the dog, uh, the, the ones who uh, batten the dogs. That's what yes. they do. They they fold their fivers way way down. The, the tail. Yes, they do. Yeah. And she was um she was putting the fivers um underneath their wallpaper in the house. And see when um the oh, when the sober granny's house and um uh, the people who bought it, we're doing it up. Oh, they no, said they that they were, when they were putting the wallpaper, there were five fivers everywhere. <gasps> oh my gosh. Where my granny had had or uh, my, my nanny, when we my we nanny had been hiding her money. <gasps> and all the fivers. Yeah, well, all I the fivers. They, I don't know how many there were like, but I mean it's it was just that the ones who bought the house said said, you know, there were fine money all over the place. Oh my god, Gina. I don't know. But that's where she was hiding it. You know, you get a wee slip in the paper. Uh-huh. She was pushing it and in the inside the wallpaper. God, so obviously that would have been impossible right. to find, you know. Of course. And then mm-hmm. she forgot about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally forgot about it. she was coming it. down to my mum's house and saying, you stole my pension, Oma. <laughs> God. <laughs> I know. And they do believe it. That's the main, that's the one thing. You can't turn them. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's no way that you can turn them. Um, But at the minute, I can, you know, we can enjoy my wee mother-in-law mm-hmm. the best we can. Because... I have said to them, this is the good time. Remember that. People are getting stressed maybe at the minute. And it is stressful. I get, I get so stressed out of right? it, you know, because I don't know what I'm walking into sometimes. No. And the daughters know. are, you know, they are stressed trying mm-hmm. to do this, trying to do that. But there's you. There's only really you and your daughter. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a good crowd of us that can do it. Because she had a big family. I would have no idea what would happen if she if she only had like two. I mean, to do twenty four hour care, I don't think. Well, it just couldn't. It couldn't be done, Gina. Yeah. Uh huh. It, it just couldn't be done. 
But my mom, my mom has made me, my mom has made me swear. Like my, my mom has made me swear that I'll never put her in the nursing home, and I, I, I couldn't go back on my word. You know, I, I, I think I'll never move in with me till till the end, like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I mean, move in with her because she's got she's got the big she's got the big massive house, not me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, so well, then you're going with her, but then you've your life. Too. She's, well, she's a granny, she's a granny flat now built under her house as well. And, oh, uh huh, well, yeah. You, well, then you'd move up there. Uh huh, um, I would probably spend that time up there, not, but I, I'm not giving my own house up, no way. Absolutely you not. Know? Mm-hmm. You need your own house and you need your own life. Yeah, and at the minute, mm-hmm. it's hard, it is, but you do, and you will need more help, Gina. Yeah, I mean, that. The, it's too much for one person. It is. It I is know Ange much. does it, but it, mm-hmm. Ange does it, but it's hard. Mm-hmm. It's it's just too hard. Um. Now OTs you know, come in. I have a couple of OTs. There's OTs yeah. come in twice a week to give her a shower, but she's now starting even to push them away. You know, and oh, I, yeah. then I go back and I look at the sides. You know, it's I, I be on Google too much googling about it, but um, don't uh, Google just, anything. Uh huh. I, I just, I just, my heart goes out to anybody who's looking after anybody with dementia. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. Mm-hmm. It's hard um, job. And I think sometimes, you know, we see people as a screen name and an avatar on here. Mm-hmm. And maybe somebody's comment might be taken the wrong way, but we don't know what goes. Nobody um, knows what's going on in, in, in anybody else's life. You know, that's why I tell I would never, you could go back on YouTube and yeah. you would never, ever, ever see one derogator, derogatory comment from me yeah. to anybody. Yeah. You know, I just, because that's on the internet forever. I you know, know and I just, I, I, I just wouldn't um, show myself up like that. I would take well, the higher road. Well, Gina, you're maybe, well, you're better than me because I have said things. Mm-hmm. I have commented back unkindly. Not now abusive. No, absolutely not. That's huh. not me. You know that. I wouldn't do that. Have I been unkind? Yeah, I have. Mm-hmm. But I've also probably in the last few months have kind of realised there doesn't have to be this side and that side. No, no. We can all actually get along all right, even if we have different opinions. Yeah. Because what was it all about? Well, I found myself at the start, you know, I mean, we all go back a, a long way, you know, from a different community yeah, as well. Yeah. But, um, you know, um, there was there was sites. Oh, yeah. So we all know there was maybe there was maybe three or four sites. Back. I think there was. <laughs> there was. Going hell for leather. You know, and, you, um, you were afraid to comment on somebody's. <laughs> I was I was actually afraid to comment on somebody <laughs> else's life in case they that, you know, I mean, because I I know for a fact you were talked about. Yeah. Because you would have got the, the nippy comments, you know, but I rose above it. And I went yeah, to myself the, the dam of it. Do you know what I mean? I'll go, go wherever the hell I like. If I like that person, I'm, I'll, I'll go there. Well, I'm the same now. Uh-huh, I will go yeah. wherever I want. And if I like the person, I like them. Yeah, now, me too. People that I don't like, I just don't go. That's no. just it. And uh-huh. that's fine. Um, and I, do you know, and I haven't even got one person blocked on YouTube. Do you know that? Well, I didn't until I started this channel. Mm-hmm. And I've only had this channel three to four weeks and I have been surprised no well well yeah I have actually at some of the emails that you get you get tagged in things that you weren't tagged in before um people wanting their opinion put across even though you're kind of like standing back going oh what I'm not part of this Mm -hmm. um but I'm just happy enough doing my wee Irish crime and my coffee yeah. time. Mm-hmm. And you're doing and really well at it. Everybody's welcome. And sometimes I'm happy having a wee channel and just having a chat about anything and everything hmm. from all communities. And you've done, you do, you done a lot of research on that as well, you know, and um, put it together really well. I you know, it takes it, time. It, so it bloody does. In itself. Uh-huh. It does, to get the facts mm-hmm. right. But, um, I think the longer you're on YouTube, you can look back and think, what was that all about? Really? Yeah, exactly. 
Uh -huh. I, 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 look so, I, 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 I look sorry for, for putting in. I, I, I remember, like, I mean, going from maybe one side to the other side and be, being a bystander and not getting involved and going, yeah. oh, my God, you're getting so, not you personally, but other people, but um, going, you're getting so worked up over I know. this. You know, I know. somebody maybe just saying one word out of context mm -hmm. that it was turned into something. <laughs> you'd have thought that I murdered somebody I know. you know uh -huh. but then but I do and the back get, and forth yeah I do get people get you know passionate about something I get yeah. that but now at this stage I'm just at that stage really just to say right it's going a certain way time for well for me anyway just to say that's enough yeah uh -huh. Because I'm tired of it all, Gina. To tell you the yeah. truth, I just got tired of it all, you know. And I just um, yeah. I used to be a lot. I used to be a big commenter in a lot of channels that you, yeah. you yourself were as well. And I, I'm not now. I just noticed that um, a lot of people have actually just backed away because we know now that it's in solicitors' hands, and it is. You know, there's nothing we can do at this this stage. You know, it's it, it it's just wait. It's a waiting game. Well, it is. You know, mm -hmm. we've come out. A bit battered and bruised, yeah, uh -huh. back and forth, um, and there's been a lot of oh my god, there has been a lot of shit though over the last few years. But there, but there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put in by a lot of people, you know, yeah, as well, which I, I'll never discount, you know. And, and I've noticed not. that there's a, there's a few videos back up again, you know, um, from a few people who I really like, and um, I've, I've made a few comments just yeah, to let them know yeah. really that. I haven't backed away a hundred percent. No, you know, and neither have I. Ne uh -huh, yeah. Even though I say, but I haven't. I still support the ones I support, right? Yeah. And I always mm -hmm. will, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And even somebody coming in and giving a comment, it does make a difference to that person. They mm -hmm. have, you know, there's been people been here from the start, and it's not over till it's over. Yeah, and I get that, but I have actually just got tired of. The arguing and fighting, really. Yeah. Because that's what it was at the end, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just got too nasty. And I got involved with people who weren't too well liked, you know, because I was just feeding, I was not that I was feeding into drama, you know, I was maybe not just because I worked. I mean, sometimes I was working at that time 60 hours a week. Yeah. I just wasn't getting to see, um, you know, other people's lives or whatever, or not getting a full picture on it. And that's another thing, it sort of gets up my ass quite a bit mm -hmm. people don't realize some some people don't realize that for, for me i'll just use myself for, for an example that i do work a full-time job and I, I work very hard and not only that i've to look after my mum and have other things to do i can't be on youtube no. um 24 7 and i'm not saying other people do that as well but but people do tend to go on quite a lot to youtube now because of lockdown and you know, yeah. maybe they're working from yeah. home and things like that, you know, and they do get to spend, the, the luxury of having to spend um, a good lot of time on, on YouTube. I don't get that. No, I get that. You know? And then mm -hmm. there's big chunks that you miss. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and it's like someone would say, well, do you not know that happened? Or they said exactly. this. Way, this people, ex happened. people expect like, you, to, you to know what they know. Yeah, and you don't. I, I notice that quite a lot, you know. I mean, well... You know why? Why are you saying this? Well, I've, well, not to me personally, but I've noticed people saying, "Well, you why are you here when this is went on?" I'm going, "Well, you don't know whether that person has been out of the picture for a couple of days or hasn't this seen what what's, what's happened." Uh -huh. Nobody knows what's behind what's going on behind that screen, and you know, there's you. I mean, I've I've definitely noticed you. You're not on as much. Definitely not, Gina. I just don't have the time. Sure. I, know that, I really, really don't. Uh -huh. I know that. Mm -hmm. I know that. Um, I'm got um, the reason I'm on, and I can do this at the moment. I won't come September because I'm back to my work. Sorry, Dorothy. But, <laughs> oh, Dorothy, we cry. <laughs> she said, to me, I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm glad I don't want you to go back to work. <laughs> but I know you have your life. Um, I've got grandkids now. Um, I, I, I just will not have the time and I got, have to go back to my job. And I do, even at that now, miss big chunks. Because now what I do, I've just stuck to a few channels. That's what and, I started doing, just sticking to a few channels and uh, I'm not getting involved up. But I don't watch Enticia anymore. That's a big no-no for me. I'll just 
that watch her whatsoever. Um, just can't be bothered with her. Um, Who's she pisses this? me off. So, Who? Uh, Natasha, I, I, I don't watch her whatsoever. No, no I don't. Uh, I, I don't, just put in a bad mood, and I, 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 yep. I, I just want to. I'm not going to let her ruin my day. Yeah. No way. You know. Like, no, and what's the point? And mm-hmm. I've noticed Ange. Ange has got her bloody hands full between looking after her aunt, her job. She's out and out back trying to get the shop sorted. Um. Everybody has got so much going on. And Adam Apple, you left YouTube for 18 months because of the drama. You see? And there's Giggler. We do know Giggler. She's changed her name. And you definitely have done your bit over the last three years, Giggler. She still supports what she believes in. But she felt that she had to leave her old name behind and move on. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. I get that. Yeah. I get that. Um, I just stick to a few channels and I'm happy with that. And yeah. I've met some brilliant people, like the ones in here tonight. I didn't know any, some of these people. Like there's Kelly and Valerie and Adam and all. It's great. It really is great. And Blues. You know, there's just more than what we were like pigeoned into. Hey, Julie. Well, we all know Julie. You know Julie DJ, don't you, Jay? Yeah, I know. I, I've known J- JD a few, right for years, like for yeah. like years or so now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it is time for peace now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's not all, look, let's be honest, there's not going to be total peace in YouTube. Yeah. But you can try to ignore it the best way you can. I like watching the clip channels, obviously, yeah. or, you know, if, I, if Dorothy's maybe doing it, but I know Dorothy's backing away from that as well, you know, yes. and um, changing the direction of her channel, which um, that's 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 her, her channel and whatever she does with it, I'll support her. But um, there's just, I think, I agree with her, there's just too many channels now, you know, it's jumped on the um, NC bandwagon. I agree, and it's getting nasty. Uh-huh. Um, but I, what I realised too as well, that I've noticed that a lot of the people who have left um, her chat and have been subs, subs for quite a while are now taking their nasty behaviours in the other chats. Well, and haven't they, haven't they themselves as subs haven't changed? They just, they still want to go with the drama and the, the nastiness, yeah. you know, and the, um, you know, starting fights. And yeah. I, I, I do notice that. I'm not going to well, lie about that because... Um, you see... But, uh-huh. you, but to be quite honest, people like that don't want to change. They just want no, to keep it they going. They want the drama. They want to keep the drama going. Um, and I'll be honest, like, there's things that have been said and done about Natasha that I don't even agree with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's gone too far at times. I don't agree with her being called the, um, some, of the, some of the hurtful names Aye. she gets called. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, um, I've seen people doing retaliation and... Yeah, I'll probably give them as a pass because I mean, if somebody called me that. a name, I I would I would jab back at them, you know, as well. Yeah. But there's people doing it just for the sake of calling her up, mm-hmm. you know. And at the end of the day, even though she's a bitch herself, um, she still has a heart, and she still she was she still has feelings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think because we've seen it all before with a certain other someone on here. Yeah. Uh huh. Gambler. Yeah. Um. So that means big addiction mm-hmm. it means that they'll do anything and say anything to get that money. Exactly, and, and it's exactly the same old freaking story. That there's no, she hasn't a penny left. She hasn't a penny left. I can tell you, you can give her, you give Natasha two million pound, and she would spend that two million pound in a matter of months because she'd be paying the big bucks and down at the casino. Yeah. And she and doesn't you, get those big camp rooms for nothing. I mean, I you, you're that, talking, yeah. you have to spend maybe 250000 a year to get that those sort of privileges. That's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But she's doing slots, Gina. I know you, I hope you don't mind me saying, but your husband or your ex-husband? Yes, my ex-husband. Um, well, he's more. he was more in the boogies. But the way the slots thing is, was that I watched a clip video of someone who put it up. That was actually wrong because a, ca- a casino classes um, you spend in £250,000 as in wage- wagering. So say, for example, mm-hmm. you put £100 in the slots and you won 20000 Right. 
and you played that 20,000 from that 100, that's still added in to that wager amount. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. So you put in, you spend 200 on the slots. Yeah. And, and say you, you won, say you won 20,000, just a, a ballpark, you won 20,000 from that 200, which can be done, it's possible. Yep. Um, but most gamblers would tend to play that back. Got you. I got you. So yeah. that 20,000 pay, play it back would still be added on to that first 200 pounds. I got you. I've got you. You know, yeah. so that clip wasn't, I was wanting to write underneath it, but I just didn't want to discount. And because it's called, it's called, um, a, it's called a wagering require, requirement. Ah, right, right. Well, I'm and glad I'm, you're explaining it's not it's, not, it's nothing about how the, the amount of money you spend. It's the amount of money you gamble. Got you. I've got you. Uh -huh. You yeah. know, all the, 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 they'll be keeping check of it at all accumulates. So say she even went and spent £2,000. I remember she was bragging that she won, I think it was 20 odd thousand or something that night. Yeah. She She's given that back. But that would be added then on to the, the full total amount Yeah, that she's gambled. I've got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though she only started with that maybe $1,000. Mm-hmm. So, so, I mean, it, it's not entirely true that you spent £250,000. No. It doesn't work like that. I've got you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've got you. In a rough... Right. She seems to be quite a heavy gambler, right? She is. She's very ha heavy. Uh -huh. And she does, obviously, the online as well. She's admitted yeah, to that. Yeah, that's the worst. Are you, Do you think she's gambled everything that she's made? Absolutely, absolutely every single thing because um, I know people say, um, especially when she's people up in the panel, that she, there's she's gone quiet and she's um, looking at other people's chats. And yes, sometimes she does do that. But mm -hmm. I would say 60% um, of her time with other people online, with her, she's, she's on her phone gambling. Mm -hmm. I, I remember... Like I remember somebody in a group saying that um, she had a group one time um, where she was getting people to join up on the sites yep. that she was gambling on to get the referrals. And she had all these people signed up and, and spend maybe £10 or something on the, yes. the gambling sites. And she was maybe getting a $50 referral and points oh, yes. for hers. And there was, there was hundreds of people doing this for her, thinking they were doing you know her a favour when they were really enabling her more than anything. Uh -huh. But the, she, had, she had actually a whole face, Facebook group dedicated to that. Do you know something? I would say, I, I just think it's awful. I know it's an addiction, Gina. I get it. Oh, ga gambling, gambling. I mean, yeah, yeah. Gambling, the, see the thing about gambling, I mean, you can go to AA and you can go to NA. There's places out there, but um, it's I, even back in the day when I was with my my husband, and uh, I wanted him to get help. We yeah. couldn't get help because there was nothing for yeah gamblers and um, there there wasn't the gamblers and anonymous around us, and especially it's gambling now. More and more women are becoming addicted to online, the online yeah. gambling. Uh -huh. Because years ago, before online and before like. Well, in Northern Ireland, you had the bookies. That was it. Mm -hmm. Or the backyard dealers. That was it, really. And there and was you, really... You, you, but you, you still do to a certain extent. Um, but yeah. I don't know about down your way, but I mean, we don't have casinos in Northern Ireland, nope. as you know. No. Nope. Nope. And we don't have strip clubs. No, nope. either. I mean, it's not. It's, this is this isn't the place anybody um anybody wants to have no. a bag doing. No, it's definitely <laughs> not. No, it's not. We have to go to Glasgow to do that. Yes, uh -huh. we do. But we're and you know what? Why we don't have? Uh, we're not allowed to gamble. It's a um, it's a, a law that dates back to 1945, oh. and it's um, when a lot of men came back from war. Right. Um, they went out and the, they were gambling their wages. Oh. So they were, and the wife, obviously, they had no job and a load of kids because there was no contraception back then. And um, so they brought out this law that you weren't allowed to gamble or win more than four pounds in any, 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 any one sitting. Oh, my God. So and that, that, that law is still in place to this day. And that's why we don't have it. That's why we don't have it. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
But, but do we have, have underground so Kate, so there, I know a couple of underground yeah. casinos. Oh, yeah. There's one in Bangor called oh, Winners. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. But if you were to you, if you were to open a casino here, you would have to pay thousands upon th- hundreds of thousands um for a for a license. Yeah. Oh, you know, would be sustainable. Plus, you'd have you'd have the crowd outside. You know that, as you said, are the Paisley crowd. I say that, <laughs> but the dead because uh, they tried to open a strip club and the, the, I think it was a Dublin, not the Dublin Road Botanic, before, and it was all the um, it was all the Paisley ones uh, protests that I'd say that and got us shut oh. down. Mm. Well, you know, do we really need all that sort of thing here? No, uh, it's because we're so backwards. You know, with church, we are. And, uh, you know, yeah. it's uh, it's the, they listen to the churches more over here. Yeah, they do. I mean, they do anywhere else. Dorothy is amazed when I would be maybe, you know, if something came up, she can't understand about the religion thing, right? Huh. I mean, now, yes, we have progressed, Tina. We definitely have. Mm-hmm. I like to think we have. Um, definitely. But as you know, back in the day, what it was like, and even now, there's still places you can go and I would step foot in, like, <laughs> and I would be the same, and I would be the same. No. Me and you kick with different feet, right? Okay. Uh-huh. Right, and isn't it great that we can sit up here and have a chat? Absolutely, uh-huh. it's good. it's irrelevant. It really is. And my two but, best friends in the world are Catholics, yeah, you know. Yeah, and my my, my best friend says to me sometimes, um, "Gina, I wish I had a match you and your and your twenties." And he says, "No, you wouldn't have." He says, "Because yeah. I wouldn't have been able to." To run about with you, I'd, I'd get, um, I'm, I hope this doesn't offend you, but I, I'd get called no, I get a, a, a Fenian lover. Yeah, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. That's what um, I'd be called. I mean, my aunt came home and she, I mean, this sounds terrible, but my granny, you know, she would have preferred someone to die than to go with a different religion. See, my dad is a Catholic and my mum's a Protestant oh. as well. Oh. And um, a funny story, see, my granny, she was really, really bitter. Your and granny? She, my granny she was married. really bitter. Uh-huh. A Catholic? That's How did her. that work? No, my mum married, married a Catholic, but my your granny, mommy, her, my mummy's right. mummy, right. was right. really, really bitter. Right, got you. And um, Duve, is, she went ahead and married him, you know, without her consent. But um, they brought her over a big duvet, you know, their house. Mm-hmm. And um, once she found out, that he was a Catholic, she threw him, out, him and her out in a duvet behind him. Oh, I believe she didn't it. Want, she didn't want him in her house. Yeah, I believe it. That's Absolutely. how bad it was. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember, I can still remember the shout. And that was early 70s, yellow. you know. Yeah, early, it was 70s. Mm-hmm. And it was and it was bad. It was bad. Mm-hmm. Um, thank goodness it's not like that now. Well, maybe it is in some houses. Well, I, mean, I made a mind. point to say my children to integrated schools. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. I made a point to doing that. Mm-hmm. We have four, and I'll tell you, they're all, one of them, his partner is brethren, right? Mm-hmm. Say no more. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> she had an awful hard time uh-huh. um, because they are very, very strict. And I very respect strict. that. I used to work with a girl who was a brother, yep. my goodness. Her hair was right down to her bum. And she broke away from, obviously, the brethren faith. When she met my son, mm-hmm. and it did There's not. No go down sex well. before marriage whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's so it's, it's so so strict. Well, she, she, well, there was sex before marriage because we have a beautiful little grandson. Mm-hmm. They've yeah. been together six years, seven years. Um, but I have to say, her parents, they were they were now obviously heartbroken at the start because mm-hmm. of the religion differences. Mm-hmm. And because it meant that she left their faith, but it took them a year or two, but they've definitely come around. And Isn't that lovely, though, that, you know, the, I am the happy so, ending? Oh, my goodness. I am so mm-hmm. glad. Mm-hmm. And integrated all the way for their son. Yeah. From nursery, even mums and toddlers, she's going around the whole lot, all the different ones, all the different faiths. And that's the way it should be. That exactly. we're all the same. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I still, I mean, I still would have friends. I mean, but it's because of their age, you know, 
there were damn, you know, especially ones who drink in like the yeah. like social clubs and that. Do you yeah. know, it's, uh, but I, I, I don't, I don't go to those sort of bars or anything anymore. Anyway, you know, that's yeah. all behind me, and um, I, I don't wanna. I just don't like that feeling around me. You know, it's um, no, no, it's not. I it's have not, my, my, my friends are Catholics. I couldn't bring them there. No, and that I think mm -hmm. it does bring it home. Like um, now her daughter, she met someone from Bangor, mm -hmm. and he actually was very into. You know the orange order and walking in the twelfth and but love is love. Nice, no, I still love going watching the bands yep, and stuff. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> but you know something, Gina. Love is love, and you cannot mm -hmm. help who you fall yeah. in love with. But it's not 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 because it's not because of um you know to do with I go just for the enjoyment and the craft. Oh no, no, no. I mean mm -hmm. my niece, my niece, um, her partner, um, he's actually in the police but he was oh. military before and he walks on the 12th and they all follow him. she's catholic uh -huh. um and they watch they take the kids and they have a great day yeah and that's what it should be about i brought my friend a couple of times and she loves that she loves the, the yeah. craft you know and everybody knew she was a catholic and then you know she was, she was made to be more than welcome and yeah you know and isn't that great Gina? Mm -hmm. i love hearing that do you know that yeah I do. I uh, love hearing the last two years. Obviously, there hasn't been because of COVID. No, no. Um, I, I didn't. I didn't get. And it's literally right in the corner for me. You know where the the march. So yeah, um, yeah. I sort of missed it, but uh, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it's all yeah, all go this year. Yeah, I hope so back too. To normal. Mm -hmm. And I think our generation, our children, thankfully, can go wherever. They, you know, they're not in this. You know, little bubble. They've grown from that. Mm -hmm. and they're doing so much better. They really are. Go where they want. M love who you want. Um, and it's all about integration now, which is the way it should there be. Is. And I love there it. Is. Mm -hmm. I love that. it. That's, why I say, that's the reason I wanted. I was determined to say to my children. My, my daughter doesn't even see, but she, she wouldn't even know about religion, you know, the eldest yeah. one. Yeah. Or all of them. And it's just they got nothing to the elements. And, you know, it's what they were taught because it's the, the, they went the right school and they were taught the right yeah. way. Mm. Kelly, they still do have convents in Ireland. I actually went to a convent um, for my high school. Um, but they still have convents. But there's definitely not as many nuns now, is there? They just can't no. get them. They're you not. barely see. You, you barely see a nun now. Used to, used to, we, used, we used to call them penguins, like you know. <laughs> you know, it's a pack of, a pack, well, especially when you see the because you used to see like packs of them walking around because they never walk on their own or anything, you know. Yeah, I suppose they but can't that's really. something I never ever see. Funny enough, now never no, see. Do you know something? Nuns I walking. Have, I haven't seen a nun in years. I've seen a couple in hospital. I'm right. a mum with them. I, I, I've actually seen two in a hospital, but they're on their own. And they must have been up visiting. Um, or the way they would go up and say prayer or whatever for um, the patients. Yeah, the Magdalene laundries and the homes stopped in the 80s. And yes. that's still unbelievable. Actually, the ones in the Republic of Ireland were going until about maybe mm, 10 years ago. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something I would like to do a live about. About well, the that would be a really, really good idea. It would be a really good, good idea, I think, to do one about the Magdalene laundries. Now, I have a friend that lived in the Republic, but she actually was a Protestant. Mm -hmm. And she got pregnant, and she was sent up to the north to a mother and baby home in Belfast. Mm -hmm. She didn't get keeping her baby. Um... And she's 54. She I'm so sad all those babies that were taken away and sent over to Australia as well. Yeah, I remember a big I thing about that. I remember watching something about that. Yeah. And, um, and it's damaged those, her for life. Uh -huh. Now, she wasn't abused in this home in Belfast, mm -hmm. by no means. That's, well, I hear there's no bigger abuse than having your baby taken off you. Well, yeah. Realistically, no, right. isn't it? Isn't it? She, you she know. stayed six months, three months prior, three months after. Obviously, because she couldn't go home. Um, with a baby, she was. They said that she went up north to work. Mm -hmm. um, she did go back down, but she came back up again. Mm -hmm. And that's you know she's lived up north 
the rest. Of, but she's never, she's never met her daughter. That's funny. Even up here too. I mean, um, I mean, there's only it was only not last year, but the year before, um, we were allowed to have abortions. That's very true. That's mm-hmm. very true. And they're still trying to stop them now. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Some doctors are refusing to, to do the referrals. Yeah. I think again, it's a very personal thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do, I do believe in having a choice. And oh, I am pro-choice. Has, you know, and that's what um, my choice is. But I'm just pro-choice. No, your body, I'm, your I'm, choice. Yep, I'm, I'm the same, Gina. Right, mm-hmm. and I think the days of going over in boats and been shamed yeah is over it has to yeah be. you went to somebody went away for a weekend you know you went oh you were saying in say yeah. i'm going yeah you know yeah. something wrong there and people covered up for where they were and yeah you know uh-huh it's um it's, it's just hopefully you know we'll we'll be more accepting but we're so behind you're oh, are God, know, so behind in everything i we are we are mm-hmm. you know when i think about it really mm-hmm. and especially when i see even like the mainland, UK, like even the way that they would do things, we definitely are behind. Mm-hmm. Uh, and America, oh my God, they're well, well ahead of us. When I spent Christmas Day with um, my friend, I have celiac disease, so um, yeah. I, she, she, she cooked me my dinner, you know, all gluten free. And um, she works with a girl, well, sorry, a man, God forgive me, a, a man who, um, no, I've got that wrong. She works with a girl. Did I get it right at the start? Who's transgender? Yeah. And yep. see the hate. See the hate she gets. Aww. Um, living in Belfast. I mean, she Aww. gets names shouted at her and Belfast. it's awful. And um uh uh-huh. and I spent Christmas Day with her and she's such a lovely girl, you know. Of course. But, um it's you just see, not yeah. it's if if we were in London, nobody bats an eye, or you're in America, nobody bats an eye. But see over here, I mean, you are. She she was getting dog shit and everything. Put <gasps> their letterbox. Oh, Gina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gina, that's awful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even Death notes and everything. Put their door. Is it the older generation? Uh, the well, it was, it was kids more than anything. Oh but, my um, god. There but was they people that straight. <gasps> mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh huh. She had to move and that, but um, she's starting to. She's starting to. Mental ways get more accepted, and she start to be more accepted because um, my friend was running a big you know circle of friends, and she yeah. she's introduced her to everybody, and she's starting to feel more comfortable, literally in her skin, you know, of because people, the, the 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 people we run about are with with her kind people, yeah, you know, understand understanding people. She was born in the wrong body. Mm, That's it. Yeah. But it she, took her until she was 50, until she... Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh-huh, Isn't she so she, brave? Yeah, absolutely. I tell her that all the time. And yes. I give her a wee call now and again, just oh, check yeah. in, because she, she goes through bouts of the depression and that, oh, you know. God it's um, it's, it's really so her. hard for her, uh, yeah. And but even right, at the start, yeah. we were trying to get her to get the, the proper clothes and that, because, God forgive me, she was... I don't know what she was dressed like, but... Yeah, um, it's starting to starting to she's starting to you know know we style in that now and you know how to put a wee bit of makeup on better Aww. and mm-hmm. I mean she's still like, afraid to go out you know, she's still no. afraid to go out to the bars and stuff so, so, stuff like that I um I have a couple of, uh, on Facebook I put a couple of photographs up and I thought it was disgusting I had a couple of people message me and going what the fuck is that <laughs> and they, these are friends of mine oh. And I, I tell you what, I went through them. I went oh, through no, them. Hi, Dory, you. That's my friend. Do you know? I, you see, uh-huh. to me, to me, maybe it's because I don't know, but Urbans are all very open-minded, mm-hmm. and like they kind of kept us on the right path. You can't say that, Mum. You can't say that, Dad. This is the way it is. And I learned a lot from them mm-hmm. because I was a seventies child. Yeah, me too. Good night, Giggler. Seventy-one. Uh, and you know, you can learn and pick up because prior to that, I probably didn't have a clue. But why people would have to do that, that, that is abuse. Absolute abuse. Oh I mean, my God. Yeah. The lesson that girl's story. I mean, you, you don't know. I mean, you, you, as you say, you don't know what's going on in no, somebody's you life, you know, and um, it's for her to go through that in itself and then to go out and take abuse no. with it as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're right. I think we have, mm, when you say that, 
I think we have a lot further to, you know, to progress. We'll, we'll, not, be, we'll not be, I don't think we'll even be anywhere near, um, mm. the, even the way America is very, very accepting and London, for example, we, we'd be extremely accepting. Yeah. Um, we would have a long, long way to go. I say even 10 years down the line because of the wee small country we're in and um, the wee island, think, sorry, we're in. Yeah, I think, sadly, the religion has been such a big, big part of our country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't just shake it off. No. Um, just like overnight. It's going to I've, take got, I've, got P I've got PTSD from, from them banging um, bin lids at night times. Because it was literally mm -hmm. around the corner for me, you know, where we lived. Do you remember when the, the hunger strikers? Oh, yes, Gina. Uh -huh. yeah. And um, yeah. I remember hearing that noise every night and being terrified. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we got, you yeah, know. Yeah, I think we forget because we lived through, I was the country. But obviously things, you know, you did. There was things that were seen. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember going up to this, well, obviously you do, going into this, if you went to Belfast, right? Go through the like, cages? Yes. Yeah. I was telling Dorothy this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had to walk through the cages, Dorothy, mm -hmm. to get in. The city we centre? To get into the city centre. It's actually, had a bomb? In case you had a bomb. Mm -hmm. And going into every shop, and you had it, it was automatically, you opened your handbag. Was that wee thing? Do you remember that thing they had? It was like, I went, yeah, 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 and it starts right. the whole body with it. <laughs> yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Now? Literally every shop. And do you ever, um, uh, I, I only found this out recently. Now, somebody told me this. Do you know, sometimes um, years ago when you went and you bought maybe a jacket and you got it home and the buttons were buttoned on the pockets? I know what you're going to say. It's where people were putting uh, uh, devices in That's why Incendiary. they did that. You only ever yeah. got that in, North, North, in, 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 in Ireland. You know, Jean, I did know that. You're right, mm -hmm. because incendiary devices. Yeah. Yes, uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's why I was wondering why that button was. And I remember asking <laughs> somebody not so long ago, oh and they told me the reason why. I know. Oh my mm -hmm. God. Isn't that mental? Because I think we were just used to it. We lived it and we were used to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and like it was just. I had so many times I, I had I, to cut I, those buttons off, you know, for the pockets. It was, I was going, why am I having to do this? <laughs> but you know, I couldn't live like that now. I'm too, I'm too frightened. No, I couldn't live like that either. But um, it's, it's, oh, and I remember my mommy being in the town too, and with me in the pram, and um, they blew up the, um, you know, the uh, bus place. Where was it? Do you know the old bus station? Um, oh, at. Uh... That's went out of my head. You know, it's just literally went out of my head too. But we were in Robinsons back then, it was Robinsons and Cleavers. Yeah, yeah. And um, and my and my mum <coughs> was telling me that I mean, I literally blew out of my pram. Oh my you know, because mm -hmm. we we're that close. You know, the force. Of course. Uh huh. Was it the bin man round right by the bus station or something? Flip us went out of my head, and that's a big massive story too. You're so many killed. Oh God, that's right. You know, so uh -huh. many, when you think back. <laughs> Um, the Oma bombing and the Shanka bombing and oh you know God. all those bombings and all, all those people killed and for, and for what? For what? Mm -hmm. For what? And this is why going back on you saying about the um the lesser sentences. This is the reasons why. Yeah. Because um people who were put in the jail that they were classed as they were fighting a war. That's right. And they're almost like um so treated like so soldiers. They were the nineteen ninety eight agreement. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why that that's why our prison um sentences are so so low. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because in nineteen ninety eight they were all released. Yeah, we all signed the agreement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's be honest, we were all glad to have that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We certainly were. Um but there's I mean, so many I'm signs sure. of coming back now, you know, it's oh God, you know, distance and um, you know, it's oh um God. Here, I mean, long, so I, I mean I've, I've, here, down here. Yeah, I mean, I've had fear. We've all had mm -hmm. that fear. Um, there was one night we went the wrong way, and I knew by the time I got to the bottom of the road that we were definitely in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And I remember feeling the fear, just feeling cold from the top of my body right down to my feet, Gina. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if I get out of here. <sighs> If somebody comes over, I'm just going to pass out. And they'll be saying, calm down. 
calm down. It's okay. It's cool. Mm -hmm. And it's times like that you think, you know, when that happened maybe 20 years ago, you couldn't do it again. Yeah. I couldn't, not at 50. You think, I mean, the, the troubles, I mean, the, the, the worst off in being during the 70s. I mean, when I was a wee girl, I mean, and you, were, you were a wee girl as well. I mean, yeah. I, people don't understand that effect, it, it, it affected me. Yeah, of course it did. And I'm sure it affected you too. That well, fear, did, of, course, as yeah. you just said, of walking into a wrong place, a wrong bar, mm -hmm. you know, just doing something like, I mean, or standard and being accosted by a crowd of people, yeah. you know, asking you your, your religion. I've yeah. had that happen to me when I was a wee girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, when you would have been in somewhere and say you were you met someone and you were chatting, first thing was uh, the name. Now, yeah. over here, you know, normally it's your name that gives you away, right? Mm -hmm. And then if that doesn't give you away, um, well... Uh, I'll ask you what football team is support. <laughs> <laughs> what school, what this, what that. And you're thinking, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Love, oh love, love Fielder, what's the other one? Love Fielder, Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and, and, and Scotland, it's, it's um, Rangers and Rangers and Celtic, isn't it? Oh, look. Mm -hmm. Gina, you know, Angela, Mad Dog Adair, Adair stayed next to my mum in Trun. Okay. I've, seen her face. I've seen her Facebook the other day. Gina Who? Adair. Gina Adair. Is she still over in Scotland? Uh-huh, yeah. She's up. Really she, come, she come up as a recommended friend. <laughs> no way. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what kind of friends have you? Her and John. Is, is Johnny Adair still living? He's still, I, I, think, I, I think they're split up, but um, I mean, they're both still living over there, but... I, 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 partly he's running some rackets over there as well, but I mean, obviously they wouldn't be, um, no, you know, um, uh, or paramilitary related. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. you know? That's him. He, he went out of here quick, fast, didn't he? Well, he got put out. Well, mm -hmm. he did. He, well, he did. He got a helping hand, let's mm -hmm. just say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they can stay away, all of them boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But you know, I remember. Just, I remember being at a few parties with him back in the day. You did not. <laughs> not today, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my God! Because mm -hmm. I mean, he's from the Shankle. My whole family's from the Shankle, you know. Yes, and I knew Gina really. I knew Gina really well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And th 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 I'm not only saying this, but I mean, if you didn't know that they were in uh, involved, yeah, they were, they were the nicest people in the world. Of course, he had, he had bought the whole. He had a whole, bought the whole bar drinks. I'm sure he would. Mm -hmm. I would actually say he was quite personable. Mm -hmm. if yeah, you didn't know. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know who he was. And they were friends or anything, but it was no, I know that. As, as company, you know. No, it's just that somebody that you knew mm -hmm. that they were, you knew who they were. They lived in the same area. I mean, yeah. I know, I know who he was, mm -hmm. and I knew who Gina was because, mm -hmm. let's be honest, Sunday world, Sunday life, the whole works. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't really have to. You'd have to have your head in the sand not to know. And then it was my cousin, um, Jackie Robinson. She actually ha had an affair with him for years and she wrote a book about it. No way, Gina. Hi, uh, Jackie Legs. That's the book that I have. Jackie Legs. That was yes, your uh -huh. Yeah, no that's my way. cousin. That's my full no. cousin. Uh -huh. Yeah. And oh, she's funny. She, way to hear the area, irony in it. Um, she's now started going out with my ex husband. <laughs> no way. No but uh, she's, way. A good, she's a friend of mine, you know, and I wish her all the best. Mm -hmm. Is he mm -hmm. still gambling? I don't know. I mean, he says he has, and the kids will say, because we now keep in contact with him because of the kids, you know, and, yeah, and yeah. still have friends with him on Facebook and that. And, um, but um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah. But, but you don't want him back, he's, so. He's, he's good to them, and so, and he never had money before. I mean, if, if they yeah. went and asked him for a pound, he'd have told them the F off. Yeah. But he'd, he'd have spent, you know, maybe a hundred pound of boogies that day. Oh, my God. You see, you know, mm -hmm. addictions. Um, and as you say, there was no help over here. No. You were on your own. And there still isn't. There's and a, there isn't. For gamblers, there's gamblers, there still isn't. Is there not even any Gamblers Anonymous? Or? There used to be one, but um, I don't think they were getting um, as many people to it because it's, it's an addiction that's so hateable. What yeah. you call a kitchen sink addiction, you know, um, yeah, like I you have, have a it. shopping addiction or... Um, Gambling addictions, even sex addictions, there, those are things you can do without people um, being able to tell it off you. Like, I mean, you can tell when somebody's on drugs, or you can tell when somebody's drunk. Yeah, 
yeah. this can be kept really, really hidden. And it's, yeah. it's, um, it's, it's a shame thing. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people mm-hmm. tend to not recognize it in themselves as an addiction. Or maybe they do, but, but there's no help strong. for them. As, uh, 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 because, it can, because it can't be called out on it as much until people start to notice, you know, where's the money gone or why is the bills not being paid? Yeah, you know, I, and then yeah. that's when they start to lie and steal and um, tell you every lie under the sun. That's what I got, you know. Where'd the money go? I lost it, you know. It's, I got so many excuses. Course, you know. uh, but <clears throat> um, I would like kids. to think maybe he's not. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's not my. That's not my. To me, that's not my business anymore. No, no, you're you right. Know? You're right. Uh, that's his life, but I, I, we we only talk when it's about the the kids. Have you no? It's you don't. Have, is it seven grandkids you have, or seven children? Eleven, I have. You have what? Eleven grandchildren. Oh my goodness! Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. And what about yeah. children? Three, three daughters. Three, right? Three daughters. Mm-hmm. I don't know where I got seven out of. Um, so you have eleven grandchildren. You're you're yes, a young granny. You're a mm-hmm. young granny, Gina. I was a granny of thirty-four. No way. Yes, uh huh. Oh my goodness! But then I was married at seventeen. Right. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. seventeen, and then your daughter would have been seventeen. Yeah, that yes, would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I finally got to be a granny last year. I know. I and didn't say it. Uh-huh. One was in August, and one was in November. We had two, so it was uh, about time. Them, all of them hitting thirty nearly. I thought mm-hmm. I'm never going to be a granny because mm-hmm. I was a young mum too. I mean, I, I had three children. One was twenty one. Oh my god. That's my uh, mind. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I, I yeah. went back to school and all, you know, and got my yeah. um, got my degree and whatever, and um, went down and uh, and had a, a few amazing jobs, you know. Yeah. Did as well, yeah. but um, yeah. and that was when I got rid of him. You know, he yes, helped like, me back. Yeah. Mhm. So no, I um, fell. Mm-hmm. I fell pregnant on my last year at uni, and but I did go back and finish. Mhm. Well, I went back and finished too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm glad I did. Um, it was hard, but yeah, we done it because. I th- it's, sorry, so, sometimes I think um, I I would say to people I I sometimes um, I have a lot that to, to, to thank Tommy or Tommy for you know because I mean mm-hmm. I would be the person I am now. No, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh-huh. You you're know, if I fucker put yeah. up with that, you know, it's it's I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been determined to do what it, what what I went ahead and did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ended up with a great job, but you worked hard, Gina. And yeah, you absolutely. Hard. Sometimes, sometimes I had three jobs, you know. Well, you did because you had your daughters as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let's be honest, you know, you worry about your kids no matter what age they are. Yeah, of course you Until, do. It doesn't matter. You still worry. I mean, I worry. I mean, I, mean, I do. Um, because it's it's hard out there. It is hard. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can support them the best way you can. But you have to let them make their own mistakes too. Right. We did. But, um, we did. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just get that one child, you know, it's just a wee bit more trouble than anybody else. You, know, you just have to invest more time in them. But um, yeah, but that's what look, uh-huh. yeah, that's what it's all about. Um, mm-hmm. And I think all of us, you know, we have to kind of remember too that everybody does have a life, and maybe just exactly. not. Say the first thing you you know you think of. I've definitely been a wee bit more careful. Yeah. Um, because nobody does know. That's what's wrong. I mean, I, I sometimes I would sit back and laugh at it, you know. But um, I would go, you know, it's, it's some people just seem to think, especially ones who you see constantly, oh, you know. Right. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging anybody because again. A lot of women here were middle-aged women. A lot of us are retired. A lot of us have disabilities mm-hmm. that can't work. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, YouTube's their, their outlet. Yeah, and I, do I get, get that. that. Yeah. Uh, but um, I, I'm not the... Some have the mindset that they... Because they sit on YouTube all day, that everybody else sits on YouTube all day and has the know about it all. And sometimes I'm listening to something and I'm completely and utterly lost. And I'm going... <laughs> I have no clue what is going on here. Uh huh. <laughs> what, what I don't get. See all this behind the scenes. I wouldn't yeah. have time for that. Yeah. All them, all them messages, group chats, 
WhatsApp. On Messenger. the screenshot. And, um, the no. I've never, no. Do you know I've never recorded a phone call in my life? I, what? Do you know something? <laughs> funny enough, that's what me and Dorothy were saying. I said, Dorothy, just imagine. Never phone I, recorded a phone call. I wouldn't even know how to. Yeah. <laughs> I, wouldn't have, I had to get my son. This is how naive I was when I first came on here. To show me how to do a screenshot. You know, to hold mm. the two buttons. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can honestly say my phone is not filled with YouTube screenshots. I have, I have a couple. I have a couple, just wee sort of things that are like me, maybe about one of my friends or something, yeah. you know, and I'll, I'll keep up my pocket and I'll, I'll not use it or, the, yeah. you know, but I'll just go here. There's just a, a wee thing of um, such and so. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. You know, I have, I have done that a couple of times. I mean, everybody's I don't got, no, I'm not saying I haven't. I have, uh-huh. but I haven't got thousands. No, that's just something oh that I would God. I, I wouldn't waste my phone down on it anyway. No, I know that. <laughs> you just wouldn't have the time. Uh-huh. I'm just not interested. I only speak to a couple of people and that's it. And I've actually known them from our old community. Yeah. Uh-huh. And one being Dorothy. Yeah. And that's fine. I think that's, there's nothing wrong with that. When she, when she was Dorothy Marie. <laughs> oh, Dorothy Marie. Dorothy Marie or Dorothy. Oh, Dorothy's got a heart of gold, you know. Does. But we here, but listen, me and her have it out, you know. We do. She says, I mean, some nights on the phone were just like I'm saying no, and she's saying no, that's not right, you're wrong, I'm right. But I I won't back down, you see, Gina. Uh-huh. I'm Irish, we're Irish. <laughs> Can't back down, girl. But Gina, I had a brilliant chat with you the night. I really enjoyed I'll it. I'm here, love. And I'm we started sorry. off mm-hmm. we started off with murder. We went into dementia, then we went into the troubles. Religion. Religion. <laughs> whole works. Covered it all tonight. And murder, mayhem, dirty dentists. You're right. Oh my God, I tell you. He can stay in there for another 10 years, but I really enjoyed the chat. And you'll so definitely be coming up again. Uh-huh, absolutely. Because it's good. Uh-huh. And this is what I like. Probably the, one of the reasons I've done this channel was because sometimes I think, you know, even. Scottish, Irish, and everyone else, yeah. But some of our, like, crimes and things are forgot about. We're all interested in the American crimes. Yeah. We are. We definitely are. But it's that nice. Was it. I, I would love you to do that. Um, I would love you to tell a story about the, the Mag- Magdalene. I think laundry. that. Uh-huh. Yep. Especially the one where they took all the children off them, you know, and sent them to um, oh Australia. God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would have to be done. There's going to be that would be a hard a work one now. It would be probably quite a lot of lives because mm-hmm. there's so much involved. Yeah, do, do a series on it. I think I will. You know, Gina, mm-hmm. because it can't be hid. We should be able to chat about it. Yeah, and it's actually kind of shocking how many people were affected and the abuse that went on in those and places. Jesus. You know, it's horrific. Aye. Aye. Mm-hmm. That's bad. It was bad. Yeah. Um. And some of them, oh, it would break your heart. Oh, Jesus, it would break your heart. But no, I'm going to do it. I definitely will. And but if you any, think of any other. Oh, well, I, well, I, I will. Uh-huh. I, mean, I mean, obviously, we're all here for the same reason. We all love our true crime, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh-huh. But um, what was I going to say? Uh, yes, just back again, just to remind everybody, watch this from what uh, jurors done tonight. Watch The Secret. It's amazing. Oh yes, and it's on Netflix. Yep. Uh huh. And you'll 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 get it all there. I think it's in a couple of parts. Yeah, like maybe it is. It's five, six, six parts or something yeah, like that. It's really good mm-hmm. though. Yeah, it's amazing. And James Nesbitt does play an amazing part in it. He does. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, from for me, he is a steward is where she deserves to be. Yeah. Uh huh. She's shown no remorse. She never will, you know. It's because she's, I, I, like I said at the start, I, she's she's still in denial, you know, that she had anything to do with us. You know, it was all him, and for him, for her even to come out, even last as early as last year, yeah, and say get that mm-hmm. big as you say that um that big um first time she'd ever spoken to the Belfast Telegraph, yeah, um, you know, I mean, she was still in denial on that, and she oh, was she accusing was. him of rape, yeah. And it was you know, cold. They said she was yeah, cold. Mm-hmm. And not once. But, you know, I have to say her children. Oh, well, maybe you see that's blind love. They have yeah. to. They oh, that's unconditional love, really, isn't it? You know, it's... Mm-hmm. But they must know that... Well, no, maybe they don't. I don't know. 
it's I, hard. It's hard. I know. I know a girl who, who I know a girl at Manchester and Hyde Bank, and um, I know a girl who served some time with her, and um, apparently she lives like a queen there. She's got all her luxuries, oh. and um, it's a, partly it's like a Butlins holiday camp. Put it that way. You but know, she's all her luxuries. She's every luxury. You know, and they got hairdressers and all in there. And what? Ah, uh-huh, yes. <laughs> Hyde Bank. Is this up in Hyde Bank? Yes. Uh huh. Oh no way. Ah, uh-huh, they got hairdressers. They're allowed to wear makeup. They're allowed <gasps> to wear their ordinary clothes. Hmm. They get all those privileges, but she got all her privileges dropped last year for uh, telling that story to oh, the uh, Belfast Telegraph. Yes, she got all her priv- priv- privileges taken away from her. What about the family annihilator in Ireland? Oh, God, there's been a few, Angela. Because see, when I was Googling, um, there was actually a lot that came up, Gina, I didn't even know about. I'm ashamed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm ashamed to say that. Um. Well, I say that guy. Do you know what? What do you call that guy? Um, that that pedo flipping. Um, it was in the fan in England, traveling all around with a. Oh my god! I think that it just put put them together with those children or the babes in the woods. Oh, do you remember like, that story? The babes in the woods. Oh, I do. I do. Uh huh. Well, I think that that that, that wee girl that went missing. I think it was around about Lisburn. That yeah. was actually one of his victims as well. They oh. haven't proven it yet. Yeah, oh, I know who you mean, and that's Robert Black. I'm going Robert to do Black. Him. Yes, I'm doing. Uh-huh. I'm doing that one. Yeah, it's going to be uh-huh. a hard one, but I'm going to do it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, uh, yeah, I think they're trying to connect him that wee girl that went missing over here. I forget yeah. her name. God forgive me, I should know it because I, I read about it that much. But oh, um, this wee I girl know. went missing outside Lisburn. He's actually the next. He was, one. He, he was over. He he was over he here was. at that time. He was. Uh huh. And he travelled about. Um, it was something to do with newspaper leaflets. Yes, that's right. Uh-huh. And they actually thought the longest case of a missing child in Ireland is um, the wee girl, oh God, I don't know, Mary Doyle. Mary Doyle, uh-huh. yeah. Right? I personally don't think he did that. I've my No, views, I didn't either. No. Which I'm going to do a, a live about that. But he... That Robert Black, he was Scottish, wasn't he? Yes, uh huh. But he travelled all around. But oh, there was gosh. a couple of that. The, the, I know it was that oh. wee girl. I slip away, should remember. I'll, I'll get it. And I'll, she was I'll, from Lisburn. I'll it from Lisburn, just outside Lisburn, I think it was. Yes. And um, was he late. went missing. And that there, I she think, uh huh. There, there, he, she was one of his victims as well. Was she not on a wee bike? Yes, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. see, there's so many, and this is what I'm saying. I had no idea. Of all these missing people, because we don't get the press the way the no, no, we see don't. America they sensationalize crimes. We don't because of the I, way we are. You know, we it, it's more downplayed. You know than anything. Yeah, it is. It is actually, Gina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, because I thought, well, Irish crime, it's going to be hard. It's not hard to get. And the other so, thing is, we yeah. don't get we don't get access to um, discovery. The way America has as well, you know, so you can't really do deep, deep dives and uh, things yeah. because you don't have the actual police, you know, affidavits and you know all the the um um what do you call that there uh, all the statements things like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I I wish. I mean, that was well. Sometimes to me, it's a good thing, and sometimes it's a bad thing. The way the way the Shanam Watts. No oh, way. Was picked the bone, you know. I mean, that's, I that, that, the worst, that was the worst thing oh about bringing the discovery out on that. I mean, let's forget about Shanann. I mean, if any of us, God forbid, was murdered and that was put out and they went through all of our Facebook, yeah. YouTube, family Twitter. lives, oh my cousins, God. uncles, oh my God. Every, every, yeah. everybody. Uh huh, yeah. Mm hmm. Has been vilified, you know, and it's um, it's really sad. But I'm saying I'm starting to see people even yeah. starting to to throw up lives about it now, and I know no. what that's about because there's a new um tub, yeah, a new thing, a new thing coming out on it, a, a new documentary coming out on it, yeah, yeah. You know, so people are people are already preempting mm-hmm. this the new surge of um of um people who's going to have an interest in the case. I mean. What more 
do people need to talk about? That's, that's pecked to the bone, you know. It is pecked to, to the, the bone. bone. Uh-huh. And not only that, he put his own children into oil vats, tanks. Yes. He did, not Shanann. Mm-hmm. So let's forget about Shanann. And let's concentrate, if you want to talk about it, concentrate on that. And he's sitting in jail. He is. A, there's, and, and, and there's people on YouTube blaming her. How sick is that? Can you, you know, really? I mean, as mm-hmm. her parents, I don't know. I actually think I would have, uh, I would be in prison now. I actually uh-huh. would be if that was my daughter. Well, you know, somebody might be in prison soon. <laughs> <laughs> <Really? laughs> That's prayer. <laughs> and I oh, think it will happen. And I think I have a good gut feeling that um, this will set a, a president um, and I'll shut shut certain people up from talking about it ever again. I hope so. Mm-hmm. I think um, there has to be injunctions and fear. Of YouTube injunctions. just had, I know there's going to be a big policy change in the April, oh, but yeah, yeah. Um, I, I know that they're going to be cutting down really, really big time, especially on these drama channels with the stocks in and um, you know, going real life on people. Mm-hmm. And I, th- I have a feeling that there's just going to be shutting channels down, left, right and centre. I think you're right. Hi, Amber. No, mm-hmm. I think they will. I mean, yep. we've mm-hmm. seen people say, oh, but why are they only going after the what? They're not. Because look at the last three and a half years. How many channels have come and how many have gone? Exactly. There's been a hell of a lot. Mm-hmm. And Personally, people just woke up in the mornings and boom, their their channels away, or their demonetization is away. Yeah. Well, apparently, or sorry, monetization, demonetization. Mm-hmm. Monet- yep, that's the way. Uh huh. I think once YouTube, it may take a while, but once they're having to actually stand up, and they will be, there'll be some big, you know, something will happen, and they will be made responsible. And they'll have uh, to bring yeah. it down. Uh-huh. That's why they're bringing out these laws to cover themselves as well, yeah. you know, in April. But I, a lot of it has to, ha, has that 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 um, has a lot to do with COVID and yeah. skeleton staff, yeah, and that getting around. I mean, you look at there's the channels just went boom, you know, overnight. Yeah. I mean, they, these are all being caught up on slowly and surely, but surely, and, slowly but surely. And people are yeah. people see people who say that YouTube is their job. It specifically says YouTube will specifically tell you never consider this as a job. Yeah. Because you wake up one morning that. and your your yeah. your your our quote job will be away. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. And I know and Julie. That and her T- yeah. You know? Like there's Julie. She was scammed. She was one of the first that was scammed. Mm-hmm. By that certain detective, yeah, mm-hmm. and you know that's gone on a long time, and it but still it, will go on for another long time. But uh, people have no patience, sure. That, that you know, I, that, that, I think you're that, right. I think they're watching it on an episode of CSI where everything gets solved yeah, in one episode, yeah. and it doesn't. It mm-hmm. takes years. Mm-hmm. And it could take a few years, but I'm just hoping. I have a gut feeling, like I said, I have a gut feeling with these new TOSs being brought out in April. Mm-hmm. And the, I think it's from the 1st or the 3rd of April, I'm not too sure, that um, they're taking things more seriously because there's going to be an awful lot of more court cases against them because they have been lackadaisical because of COVID. Yeah. And people well, have know, been getting away with um, bloody well murder well, on you know YouTube. What country you know, is disgusting? bringing in big big changes to, the, to social media is Australia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I Well, there's another justice. one. There's another, there's yeah. another one that's, that's oh my God. Somebody, somebody similar to the, the detective, you know, oh, he's he, he's, 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 up the whole. Oh, he's fine. Mm-hmm. He called Shanann's mother a C-U-N-T. Oh my God. Seriously. Oh, did, I don't watch him, but I, I did see oh my that. God. But it's not disgusting. Jeez. And the things he said about her. He is. But his day will come. Oh, it will. Oh, it will be. Oh, it will come. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, because apparently, what I've seen in Trust Justice, when I've looked it up, when she put it all up, was this harassment, continual harassment on any platform. That's going to stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And their citizens, whether it be against them or they're doing it to someone else, it's going to stop. 
and they'll do it. Australia will do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going they're very strict on their loss. Yeah. Very, very strict yeah. on their loss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? I hope so, Julie. But the summer, but I, what summer? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Because there's three and a half years to go through. So we can all but hope. That's all I can say. But, Jeannie, you'll definitely come up again. And have a chat. Definitely with will you. love. I'm absolutely shattered, so I'm going to hit the bed now anyway. All right, so my darling. And jump down. I'll be listening still if you're All still right. on. You know, I'm anyway, going to. Anyway, I was probably talking to oh, you. Oh, it was. I mm-hmm. love talking to you, Gina. Somebody from oh. home. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of listening to that, that, that American biatch. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy. We love you, Dorothy. You know I love we that. <laughs> but... Um, so anyway, night, 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 and night, night, we'll, we're looking forward to your next one. And, um, definitely. Oh, no, definitely. And we'll um, have another week on for there. All right, my love. All righty. Good I'll be night, in chat Gina. if you're still on. Good night. All right, Good night. darling. All bye. Right, bye. Night, bye. Bye. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Well, thank you, everyone that came in tonight and supported me. Um, it was a great chat. Um, really enjoyed it tonight. We talked about absolutely everything. Um, and John and everybody that mod it, thank you, Angela from Glasgow. Um, definitely we're going to do Robert Black. And the drama was called The Secret. And I think um, it either is on Amazon or... I'm not sure. I think it's Amazon. And John, thank you. Thank you very much. Everybody was great the night. So I'm going to say good night. And Blues Girls, I'll probably see you around the tubes. And thanks for your support. Night, night, Angela. And I'll see you next week, next Thursday night. It'll be just a general chat next week. No crime. It's either going to be every other week I'm going to do a crime case. And then the other week I'm just going to have a just a chat about anything and everything. And I'll probably see you all in Dorothy's or Country Joe's. Good night, catnip. Good night. <laughs>